This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys, let's get started. So, in today's session, I am gonna give you the overview of Azure Cloud Data Center. So, you guys created your Azure account, but Sir, it shows me message of that uh, fourteen thousand five hundred amount remaining. So, why? Very good, very good. I'll give you all the details. Don't worry about it. Now, so you have created your azure account azure account free trial account so azure gives you free option you know you can use for 30 days 30 days free okay now when you create your azure account the free trial account you get somewhere around 200 us dollar usd so if you are in us you will get 200 us dollar if you are in canada then you will get somewhere around 250 Canadian dollar Okay, if you are in India, you will get somewhere around 14,500 INR Indian rupees This is the credit Azure gives you free credit. Okay, you can utilize this credit for 30 days and <clears throat> This is gonna get deducted if you create some resources like virtual machine or virtual network or virtual uh, anything you create in Azure they are called resources so let's say you create virtual machines in azure it is going to detect amount from here okay if you create hard disk virtual hard disk it's going to detect amount so for the first 30 days it's going to utilize these credits you know whatever the credit you get in your free trial that's going to get utilized free trial it's not going to charge you anything it is free of cost it is not going to charge you from your credit card not from your bank account 30 days free completely free okay after 30 days if you would like to continue right then you will have to change your subscription from free trial to pay as you go account okay so free 30 days no charge at all after 30 days your account will get disabled the free account will get disabled and that then it will ask you to upgrade your account from free trial to uh, this one the pay as you go account the pay as you go account this one when you do this pay as you go account then they will microsoft will start charging you monthly basis like electricity bill you know uh, or telephone bill you you get monthly basis so monthly basis you will get the bill and you will have to pay to microsoft but 30 days no no charge at all so you understood 14500 thing i mean Now, what is Azure Cloud Data Center? Azure, why we are going on Azure Cloud Data Center? Because the machine which we are using, for example, the laptop or the desktop, what you are using, that is not sufficient enough to create your MECM lab. Because the machine has only four gigabyte or eight gigabyte RAM and you know, dual core processor, hard disk is less. So if we don't have such, let's say you are trying to, uh, you have to do a reception, right? but the space is not available you know you are living in a city and the space is not available what do you do you hire a marriage hall and in that marriage hall you do the reception because the space is there and they, you will have to pay for it you know when you hire a marriage hall for one day or two day you will have to pay for it similarly we will hire azure cloud data center and we will use azure cloud data center and then you will have to pay for it so microsoft gives you 30 days free trial just to try and see the uh, the options and how it is working and all so that is the reason we are going to take the services from microsoft instead of setting it uh, on our own laptop so azure cloud data center there are mm, many data centers okay all over the globe so if you type in azure geography so azure data center located in multiple countries okay in uh, north america in south america in european countries in africa in uh, uh, gulf countries then in india in china australia indonesia right japan so azure presence is there in almost all continent okay more than 50 to 60 data centers are available all over the globe so data center how data center looks like 
it will be a big building from outside like facebook data center or google data center it will be like this you see the building it will be a building from outside right big building and it will have uh, multiple floors right as you see these are the data center google data center or if you would like to see the facebook data center facebook data center building you see these this is facebook data center building right if you would like to see azure data center the one which we yeah th these are azure data center okay this one you see microsoft so data center will look like from look like this from outside from inside if you see the data center how the data center look like from inside you see data center looks like this from inside you will have multiple floors and on multiple floors you will have you know racks uh, these are called racks right on these racks you will have virtual i mean uh, physical servers right you know very high configure servers will be there and you can remotely <clears throat> utilize the services here you can remotely create virtual machines you can remotely create your uh, uh, virtual network so you will not be going there physically because the data centers are not located nearby it is in different co countries right so you will remotely connect so we will be creating our services these are called racks you see racks and inside that rack you can create your uh, resources and this is a public data center so everyone will be you know anyone can can create their resources you know for example this is your rack next to your next to your rack somebody else is using that rack right somebody else is using this rack so this is a public data center so there are three types of data center public data center private data center or hybrid data center so azure is a public data center so in in that data center as i showed you the rack inside that rack what we will do we will create one container what is this container or called resource group resource group we will create our resource group or container and on that container inside that container we will create a virtual network we will create what network that network nobody else will have permission to access that network only you will be able to access that network so you have to have a network a LAN network a cable network cable so that computers can connect to each other and then we will set up our computers like this we will have some computers like this okay so for example all the machine there are four computers all the machines will be connected to the same network right the, so that they can talk to each other so we will create three servers and one client machine so this one <clears throat> this one will be domain server right this is going to be database server then this one will be your mecm primary site server mecm ps and this is this one will be your windows 10 or windows 11 computer either windows 10 or windows 11 so we will have four machines now where will we set up these machines either you can create the machine in australia or canada or us or india or europe any data center which is available for us we can use the data center uh, and create our services there in that particular data center all the machine will be connected uh, to each other now the machine these machines we will remotely connect from our laptop for, for example this is my home laptop this is what home computer or home laptop and i am located in india at the moment right i will remotely connect to these machines okay i'll remotely connect remotely connect from my laptop to these machines in azure cloud data center that's the whole concept here because my laptop is not sufficient my home laptop is not sufficient to create the lab on uh, the laptop itself rather than creating the lab lab in the home laptop 
we are gonna set up the whole lab in Azure Cloud Data Center and we will remotely connect to these machines. Is that clear, everyone? Yes. Yes. So I will make somebody as a presenter. I mean, I'll make you presenter, share your screen, and then I'll guide you step by step, and you guys will have to follow. Everyone will have to follow what is going on the screen. Okay? So I'll make you presenter, share your screen. Keyboard and mouse will go Yes. Now, uh, Ashwini, you created your Azure account? Yes. Anirudha, you? Yep, created. Okay. So when you create your account, okay, one minute, let me take the control, I mean, don't use the mouse. Now today is what? Today is 8th September. Topics, okay? Now point number one, Azure overview. So we have done with Azure overview. Point number two is now one minute in Azure overview. What is the website of Azure? Suppose if you have created your account and you would like to go to Azure website. So Azure site is what you just need to type in this portal dot Azure dot com in your browser. You have to just type in this portal dot Azure dot com right click and then copy. Let me show you. <clears throat> Let me close this Azure portal. So I just have to type in this one portal. Uh, I mean, wait a minute. You, I think you are not able to um, see the complete screen, right? <coughs> what... You need to click on this one. The two arrows. You need to click on that two arrow. Okay. Yes. I mean, click on the two arrow. Done. Again. Is that done? Is it is it hidden now? Not it again. Only hidden. one time you have to do. Huh? Yes. Yes, sir. It's hidden. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me see. Yes, it is hidden. Very good. Now, so Azure overview. So this is the website address portal.azure.com. So I'm going to copy that on daily basis. You have to use this link to log into Azure website. Okay. Now let me save this on the desktop. Desktop. I'm going to save it on the desktop. The name of this is MECM notes. Okay. Now, when you create your Azure account, you get 30 days free trial. Now, did you use credit card or debit card? Debit card. Okay, debit card is accepted. Very good. So you guys can create your uh, Azure account with debit card as well. Previously, they were not allowing us, but now it has. Now you see 14,500 credit remaining. This one is in free trial. So Microsoft upfrontly gives you 14,500 in this wallet. This is inside this Azure wallet. You can utilize this for 30 days. When you, whenever you create some uh, some virtual machine or anything you create here, it is gonna use this credit. It's gonna utilize from here, not from your bank account, not from your credit card. You don't have to worry about it. Now after 30 days, your account will get disabled and then if you would like to continue then you have to click on this one upgrade to pay as you go so don't use this one continue with the free account now we have many data center right we have data center in uh, in uh, india australia canada china we have to create our container we have to create our virtual machines where do we have to create so we need to create in the whatever the region is available for us. So I'm going to click on this on the top. You have option to search. 
you see suppose if you would like to search virtual machine you search virtual machine okay that's gonna show you the virtual machine here on the top so you see virtual machine if you would like to search anything you have to just type in here it is gonna list down here so I'm gonna click on this virtual machines everyone click on virtual machine now if you guys are getting problem to see and perform the steps you can split the screen into half you know half of them you can watch or half of them you can perform or you can join from mobile as well on mobile you need you can watch and on computer you can perform the task okay now so click on create i mean everyone click on create and then choose azure virtual machine now you see subscription is free trial either it is free trial or azure subscription one that's not a problem as long as it is allowing you to create the resources now first thing first we have to create the resource group the container right everything will go inside that container all whatever the things which we will create like virtual machine virtual network ip address ip subnet everything will go inside that container like a box it's a box we will create now so click on create new everyone choose create new i mean create new click on that yeah type in mecm underscore container capital letter underscore container container is also capital see the first letter should be capital hmm. It's not mandatory that you go with the capital letter, but it looks good. Okay, click OK. So, resource group name is MECM container. Okay, now name of the virtual machine. What will be the name? Let's choose virtual machine name as domain the first machine name will be domain type in domain capital d then o m a i n right now region where will you create your domain controller right currently it is showing central asia you have many region let's go with the default one whatever coming central asia okay yes. clear everyone yes then availability option no infrastructure redundancy required then security type standard right we don't have to change anything here now image windows server we need a windows server because uh, your uh, domain controller can be installed on windows server your database can be installed on windows server and your uh, SCCM server will be installed on Windows server. So we don't have to choose Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a different operating system like Linux operating system. So we have to change that to what? Windows Server 2019 Data Center 2. Data Center Gen 2. You need to choose this one. Everyone, Windows Server 2019 Data Center Gen 2. <coughs> okay now suppose you are going to purchase a new new house right uh, sorry new laptop so you check the memory and ram and storage how much memory you will have on that on that laptop or on that computer right so we have chosen the operating system but we have not chosen the ram and processor and all so we need to go down right 
Windows Server 2019 Data Center Gen 2 and here we have to choose the size so size one CPU and one GB RAM it's very um, minimal size right uh, one GB is very less uh, so we will give more memory one vCPU is fine but so we'll have to click on the drop down and choose this option one vCPU and 3.5 GIB everyone choose that one one CPU and 3.5 RAM this one so that computer will have one one CPU and 3.5 GB RAM okay then you have the username and password option here you can create your uh, type in your username for example your username is Amin so you put your name there everyone put your name there so VM and uh, virtual machine user ID and password okay so the user ID is what Amin and the password is everyone will you need to choose the same password whatever the password I am giving you you have to use the same password don't create any new password guys okay now the password is capital P A S S W O R D simple password at the rate one two three just type in it on on a notepad okay now you have to put in like this virtual machine user id and password is this amin that's your name and the password capital p a s s w o r d at the rate one two three you need to copy copy the password like this right click and copy copy the password and put it here on the notepad uh, on the azure portal everyone choose the same password do not change the password okay now when you go down you need to click on next i mean click on next disk everyone click on next disk okay now it is asking us to click on next networking click on next networking next networking now you went to management networking is this one right now in this <coughs> one so let me type in some some more thing here what is the resource group name we created hmm? domain mecm that's oh. the machine name MECM machine. container right that's the name of the container now the virtual network what is the name of the virtual network on the screen the virtual network is this one guys MECM underscore container hyphen vnet okay so all the machine will be a part of this one MECM underscore container hyphen vnet okay all machine will be a part of this container and all the machine will be joined to this network so that they can talk to each other understood yes so now we have public ip public ip to connect the machine remotely from outside there are two two ip address of of the computer one is public one is private private is for internal usage and public for outside for example your phone number that is public you, anyone can call from outside but your intercom number intercom it is from inside the building only from you know the the people from the inside the building can call you the intercom so the computer similarly will have two ip address ip address is like a phone number guys so 
machine can come in to connect the machine on the network we need ip address so there are two types of ip address private and public public is for external connection so i can connect the computer from outside using public ip address so i need public ip address to be static static means that should never change it will remain as it is for example your phone number it should not change it will remain as it is otherwise if you keep on changing your number people will not able to reach you right so we have to in front of this public ip we have to click on this create new so click on create new i mean everyone click on create new and then when you create when you click on that you need to click on this basic click on basic okay so basic and then it is gonna use the static ip static if you if you choose dynamic then the ip will change every time ip will change after every day the ip will change we don't want ip different ip we want the same ip address of that machine so static ip address now click on okay now choose review plus create review plus create so this is how we create azure account uh, i mean uh, azure virtual machine in a data center so we have created in central asia probably this is this data center is in um, is in mp or uh, i don't know where exactly the data center location click on create Kashif, we have not made any changes in disk, right? No, leave the disk default. <laughs> okay. Now, first machine is getting ready. Now we have to follow the same step, repeat the same step for the second machine. So click on the search again on the top on the top uh, type yeah click on virtual machine create click on azure virtual machine the same process you have to follow me now so now we don't have to wait a minute you don't have to create any new resource group why because the resource group we have already created in the last machine when we were creating domain controller i mean the domain server we already created so we don't have to choose create new rather we will have to use the drop down so choose the drop down and choose the existing you know select existing so we have to choose mecm underscore container everything will go inside this container got it everyone you have to choose this mecm underscore container now virtual machine name choose database type in database database capital d and then a t a b a s e b a without any space why you have given a space without any space all small yeah data small letter why you have given capital hmm, b a s e database so this machine is going to be our database server now scroll down little bit central asia we don't have to change that one because by default every machine should be in the same region so domain created in central asia and the database will also be in central asia now then image image is windows server 2019 
Windows Server 2019. Hmm, choose that. Okay, there is a problem here. The problem, sometime it does not come, even though we have chosen Windows Server 2019. So in such cases, what we will do, we will choose Windows Server 2016. Okay, you see, we have chosen Windows Server 2016, but again, we will choose Windows Server 2019. So our main target is to choose Windows Server 2019, not 16. You see 19, you have to choose Windows Server 2019, not 16. Clear? Okay. Now go next, I mean, scroll down a little bit. Now one CPU and 3.5 RAM, the size. So this machine will have one CPU, one processor and 3.5 memory. So this is fine. Now username, copy and paste it from the notepad. I have already saved it on the notepad, copy the username amin below is the user id amin copy that control c to copy and paste it there in the username control v very good again go back to the notepad now copy the password control c to copy hmm. copy and put it control v to paste very good and paste it below as well very good. So same username and same password we are going to use for all the machines. Don't change the username and password. Okay. Yes. Now, so once that is done, we have to now go next. Next disk. Hmm. Now click on networking. Next networking. Hmm. When you do that, you have public IP. You see public IP. In front of public IP, you have to click on create new. Click on, no, don't touch that. Click on create new. And then choose basic and static. Basic and static, yes. So both of them are selected. Now click on OK. And down at the bottom, you have to click on review plus create review plus create down at the bottom left hand side down at the bottom you can see uh, this is our second machine guys click on create you see it's gonna cost you 10 around 10 rupees per hour from this credit so if you use the machine for one hour uh, it is gonna charge you 10 rupees from this credit okay So the second machine is ready. I mean, getting ready. Now the third machine. On the top, search again, virtual machine. Hmm. Click on virtual machine, very good. Everyone go back to virtual machine, create, and then choose Azure virtual machine. Now resource group, same resource group, the existing one. So click on the drop down and choose MECM container resource group. I mean, you have to choose the resource group. Uh, click on that and choose MECM container. Everything will go inside this container, MECM container. Now the machine name, MECMPS, capital letter, the virtual machine name, MECMPS. Okay, now region, Central Asia, we don't have to change that one. Availability option, and uh, no infrastructure redundancy is required. Security type standard will have to leave everything as it is. Now image, image is Windows Server 2019. It is already selected, but if it is not, you have to select that Windows Server 2019 data center Gen 2. It's already selected. If it is not, you need to choose a Windows Server 2019 data center. <clears throat> then you need to go down scroll down scroll down and now one cpu and 3.5 ram wait a minute go slowly i mean now one cpu and 3.5 ram so that is the size default size we will leave that as it is now username copy and paste it from the notepad username amin
and the password is password at the rate one two three very good so you have given the password now go next same username same password for all the machines hmm click on next click on next networking very good now you need to in front of public ip you need to click on create new this in one. front of no it's this one wait a minute in front of public ip you have to click on create new create new now choose basic and static okay click on okay and then choose review plus create now click on create so it's gonna cost you 10 rupees approx 10 rupees per hour click on create new Create. create yeah create aniruddha ashwini are you guys on the same page yes yes akash what is your status yes you created your azure account yes I created the third one yes yes oh okay so that was the only problem the outlook account was not happening right 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 okay good so these machines what we have created these machines are located where in central asia somewhere in in uh, maharashtra or uh, or uh, this thing mp i don't know the exact region uh, but we have created them now we can remotely connect to these machines these machines are um, present in central asia data center so i can remotely connect how will i connect we have the public ip address the public ip address is the like a phone number mobile number so in order to connect communicate to somebody you call that mobile number right similarly we will use these public ip address to connect to those machines remotely all the machine you need to verify that database domain and MECM. all these machines are in free trial subscription and in the same con resource group MECM underscore container central asia same uh, two of them are running one of them is creating right the last one is getting created and same size ds1 underscore v2 right so now we will connect to these machines how will i connect to these machines so let's download one application i'm gonna type in here create azure container resource group basically create resource group create virtual machines so we created virtual machines like domain then database and then mec mps we have created them now we will download and install m remote application m remote ng uh, so let's download this one open a new browser i will open that for you for example so I am going to type in uh, www.google.com. Okay. And in we Google, can, we can use the Windows RDP too. Just I think that's the it's already installed. Windows, uh, Windows RDP we can use, but for each machine we have to configure one by one. And whenever we have to open that one, one by one we have to open. But M Remote gives you. Uh, the option at the left hand side you can configure all the machine and connect to them simultaneously okay. So this know. gives a go more good option. That's the reason we use this one. So M remote 
m remote ng download so you need to download this m remote ng guys this is your personal laptop right everyone you need to install this one uh, download m remote ng click on that now we have three options stable preview and nightly in the stable you have msi click on the green msi in a stable green msi yeah Now click on the one which is downloaded down at the bottom and install it. Open. Next, next install. Accept license terms and condition. Accept that one. Hmm. Next install click on finish <clears throat> so we have click launch on finish remote. yes launch yeah launch the remote. yeah so we what we did we installed one application and that is m remote ng now point number 5 is wait a minute don't touch the mouse the point number 5 is after we installed now add all public ip address in m remote and login so we have to add all the public ip address in m remote and login so let me uh, so here you click on this use recommended settings use recommended settings now this is your m remote application so on daily basis you have to use this one you know before uh, we start the session you need to log into all the machines on daily basis you have to log in through this one how will you log in let's click create a folder click on this folder icon uh, type in central asia the folder name central asia because we have created our azure central asia we have central india sorry not asia central india it's in central india or central asia asia central india Central India space after central space India. So we have created our Azure virtual machines in central India. Let me just verify again. Central India, yes. Okay. Now you can name it anything of your choice, but just to uh, identify the location. Now let's create a connection. Right click and then choose new connection new connection new connection below hmm. type in domain database type in database database not database. domain only database no yeah type in database hmm. okay now right click again on the folder central asia folder and then choose new connection and type in domain domain again create a new connection and type in mecmps mm, that's the problem you have created no you use, use the connection be, yeah don't use the connection okay now 
So, MECMPS, capital letter. Now, so we have database, domain, and MECM. We have to add the machine IP address and the username and password. So, for all the machine, we have to add the IP address. I'll show you for database. For example, the first one, database. How will you connect to the database? We have host name and IP address here. Right in this one, we have to add the public IP address of the database. So, what is the public IP address of database? You see the first one, the public IP is right here. So, I am gonna take it little right hand side. The first one is the database machine. So, I am gonna double click on this and control C to copy on the keyboard. So, I've copied the public IP address of database. So now, this is database. You see the database name is database. I have to put the IP address. Okay, now. What is the username and password? I need to copy it and put it from the notepad. So Amin is the username. So I'm going to put the username Amin. And password is this one. So I need to copy and paste it. Similarly, I have to put the username and password and the IP for domain. So let's repeat it for the domain. I mean, let's go to the Azure port. Click on domain first. Click on domain. Now go to Azure portal, Azure portal, Azure website. Huh. Control C, double click on this IP, public so, IP at the so right hand page? side. Of, yes, double click, double click. Hmm. Control C to copy. And go to M remote. Ah. Huh. Put the IP address there in the host name and IP. Put it there. Very good. Now username, I mean, and the password. Password at the rate one, two, three. Hmm. It's MN. Hmm? Yes. You may make a mistake by typing your name. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry. It's default mistake. Control C to copy. Okay, now repeat the same step for MEC MPS now click on MEC MPS Very good now go to Azure portal Control C very good good job control C to copy and Then paste the IP address here hmm? Where are you pasting? Yes Put the username I mean hmm. Password Copy and paste it from the notepad. Everyone, you need to keep your username and password on a notepad. Your Azure virtual machine, machine username password, your Azure website username and password, keep it on a notepad so that you can remember it. Very good. Now, so we have added the IP address of all the machines. So how will you connect to these machines? You can simply right click on this folder and then choose connect. That's it. And the machine will get connected. All these machine okay we have some problem with okay one of the machine did not connect but two machines got connected database connected and MECM connected domain did not connect why now domain is also connected Okay, the machines are connected now you have to save this configuration because when you open tomorrow You should have all these machines and all IP and everything. So how will you save the connection? You need to click on file everyone file in M remote and save connection file So file and save connection file make sure you do that file and save connection file now We have this all the machines are connected as you see database. Sir, I, have to, I have to save it's already saved it's saved already Okay, you see database it is the machines a machine is connected domain the machine is connected MECM so we are able to see all the machines connected now These machines are remotely we have remotely connected to these machines. They are running in the data center not here They are not on your laptop. They are in running in central India somewhere in um, MP or somewhere in Maharashtra. I don't know <coughs> You have remotely connected to these machines clear Now on these machines we will start setting up our lab. We will create our lab from tomorrow onwards We will set up the lab from tomorrow. Okay clear
Yes. You everyone on the same page, right? Yes. Okay. Now let's uh, point number six. Stop all the machines in Azure. You. This is a mandatory step. After all, after each session, you need to stop the machine. Why? Otherwise, they will keep on charging ten rupees per hour. They will charge you ten rupees per hour per server. So thirty rupees per hour. Three servers are there. So thirty rupees per hour they will charge you. Right? If you keep the machine on for twenty-four hours, how much they are gonna charge you? Tell me. Around more than six, seven hundred rupees. Sorry, not camera. Minimize this. Calculator. So if you keep the machine on for 24 hours, so 24 multiplied by 30, 720 rupees they will charge you. Okay, around 1,000 rupees you will lose if you don't use it properly. So one one hour or one and a half hour when you will practice you will start the machine but when you are done with your practical session or assignment you must stop okay how will you stop the machine you need to go to azure portal right in azure portal how will you stop the machine guys check all the boxes i mean everyone check all the boxes and then choose a stop you have yeah. stop here right here stop and click yes very good so when you stop it they will not charge you it's same as electricity appliances suppose you are going outside what do you do you turn off all your electricity appliances like fan your air cons your refrigerator you know so that when you are not utilizing them you keep them off when you come back then you will start again similarly tomorrow when we meet at uh, eight o'clock we are starting so before 8 a.m you need to start all the machines like five minutes before you join the session start all the machines. when you start so tomorrow you need to check all the boxes and click on start and then you have to go to this m remote and then connect all the machines right now these machines are disconnected why the machines are off now okay clear you see stop deallocated means your memory and processor is now freed up it is given to somebody else it's free freed up okay all good ashwini anirudha akash sayed yes. i mean yes Kashi. everything is good yes. yeah but uh, okay. you you have to set up my uh, my machines are you yeah i know are, are you available <laughs> after one hour uh yeah I am. okay i ping me i will i will remote in uh, okay oh okay. Thank, thank you guys you. we'll meet tomorrow everyone yeah we will meet tomorrow thanks I know. Bye. thanks